guys, it's coffee time. Whoa, I wound up with like a bubble in my throat right when I started. Of course, why not just then? Uh, I would like to give you guys a quick update. I was thinking about it today. And a lot of you, when I gave up sugar in my coffee for Lent, even though I'm not religious in a way where Lent is important to me, um, but I kept saying, you know, I like the idea of Lent. I like the idea of giving something up for a certain period of time and seeing if it affects your life after that, right? So I gave up sugar in my coffee, and I would like to update you guys and let you know that more often than not now, I drink coffee with no sugar in it. Um, I was thinking about it because I put sugar in my coffee today, and I was like, this isn't a frequent thing anymore. This isn't something that I do very often, especially in the morning. I normally just drink it black. Uh, so I was proud of myself. I felt victorious in a way that made me want to tell you guys about it. So I thought that that was kind of a Kind of a cool thing. And yesterday I told you that I was going to be going hiking today, which did not happen because there were super thunderstorms. Like, I was... Okay, so I stayed with a friend because uh, I knew that I would be closer to where we were going to go hiking. I was going to go with Trisha and Jeannie. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to stay like further up there so that it's not a long drive because we're going really early in the morning. It'll all work out perfectly. So... I like wake up and I'm sitting on a couch, you know, some of these couches I've never sat on before. I'm just like, yeah, just, you know, hanging out, playing my, playing my games on my phone. And then of course, of course, the loudest thunderstorm I think I've ever heard in my life happens. And all of the cars around us, the alarms go off. And I was like, what's happening? It was so terrifying. I was just like, oh, I love thunder. I love the sound of thunder. But hearing it like affect actual things around me was like, oh, I have to leave. So obviously we wound up canceling on hiking, which made me sad. I was like, I haven't gone hiking in forever. And Mike made a joke. I was like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm going to go hiking with the ladies. So um, you know, I'll be sure to text you pictures of me looking totally destroyed about five minutes into the hike. And he was like, honestly, I'm really hoping for a picture of you falling on your other knee. And it just, it's like, touche, sir. Touche. But so instead of hiking, I went and got a massage. One is free and one is absolutely not free, but I haven't had a massage in about 10 years, like a, a deep massage, because I think it would be 10 years. Um, I'm trying to think, because the last time that I had like a really deep massage from my sister-in-law was when I was working at the spa, and that was in, wasn't that in high school? Or was it not? No, that was my, no, that was my freshman year of college. So it was eight years ago, not 10. I was close though. So, uh, I haven't had like a super full on full body, like deep massage in a long time. And my back has been killing me. And you know, I have plenty of friends that, that like to massage and like pat, 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 but, uh, it just wasn't helping at all. And so it was suggested to me like, Oh, you should go get a massage, you know, just, just do it. It's like, okay, I will. And I'm so glad that I went because I found out something really important. First off, this dude was awesome. Uh, it was totally silent the whole time, which is my jam. And, uh, and he was like, I don't know what type of massage it was. The lady at the counter said it when we went in there, but I can't remember. It was, it was a type of massage where he just like took his thumb points and just like pushed in to like different spots, like really hard, just all over my body. And I was like, this is awesome. It hurts so bad though. Like my arms and my legs, the areas of my body that I know are pretty healthy, um, didn't hurt that bad at all. Like it felt, it felt like good pain. Um, on my back, it was, I, I knew that it was still good pain, but it was like, oh, my back is super messed up. Like I can tell I need to be working on on that posture a little bit more because it was apparent. Like he asked me if there were any spots that I wanted to work on. And I said, well, I work at a computer, so it would probably be best to do a lot of work on my back and neck. And he was like, okay. And he went to town and I was just like, Oh, but here's the thing that I'm really glad I found out. 
um, there's a spot on my back that every time somebody touches it, I'm just like, God, it just hurts so bad. And I haven't been able to figure out what it was. So he's like pressing in there and my whole body is tense. And I was like, oh, that hurts. And he goes, yeah, I'm sure it does. And then there was a long pause. And he goes, your spine is actually crooked here. I was like, what? He was like, yeah, I mean, it's common. Um, you know, depending on how you sit, if you sit for your job, uh, typically people develop, you know, cricks in their spine. Um, and he was like, but this, this is definitely like, your spine is crooked here. You need to go to a chiropractor. It's like, oh, <laughs> he was like, yeah, I think, you know, the pain should go away. Um, after you go to see a chiropractor, but you definitely should. Um, he said the things that keep your back from doing this are, uh, if it develops, if you know, if you're able to recognize this again in the future, go to a chiropractor as soon as you can. Um, he said getting regular massages, of course, keeps your body loose and making sure that you exercise every day. Uh, which I, I don't know why I was surprised because, you know, it makes a lot of sense, but, uh, yeah, he said that if you're somebody who sits at a computer a lot and you have a lot of back problems, um, you should be doing some sort of exercising, even if it's swimming. So just swim for 30 minutes and it'll keep your back like loose. I was like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> it's like, I do exercise, but I don't exercise every day. And he was like, you should be. If you, if you work a desk job or if you work at a computer, you absolutely should be doing exercise every day. I was like, okay. So the more, you know, things to learn, but oh my goodness, when he was working on my neck, I was like, uh, <laughs> just like, oh man. But now I feel great. <laughs> I feel like awesome. Um, I realized that I need to be drinking water. I learned that, uh, from working at the spa. Because Amanda has explained to me many times that anytime you get a massage, you should drink a lot of water afterward. Um, I can't tell you specifics about why. <laughs> if she winds up watching this video, um, perhaps she could say what the specifics are, but I'm sure you can look it up. This is really good for you, okay? God. But, uh... Yeah, I thought that that was a pretty fantastic substitute going in and getting a massage. I was like, this is the best thing ever. They have like a little uh, suggested tip sheet. It's like, did you enjoy your massage? Here's an idea of what a normal tip would be. And I was like, oh, that's kind of nice that they put that there. And so like they have uh, the different times, like the amount of time that you were there. And then uh, they give you a pretty wide range. So it's kind of like, were you extremely happy with it? Then maybe tip this much. Were you, you know, like you want to tip, but you probably won't come back. Maybe even do this much. And I was like, that's kind of nice. <laughs> but it's not like you should be tipping $30 every time. <laughs> it's like, mm, no. <laughs> but it gave like a good range so that people had an idea of it. Because, um, I mean, LMTs, there are a lot of them and they need... They need dat generosity, so uh, I definitely gave him a good tip because I was like, dude, <laughs> you might have saved my back <laughs> by letting me know that it's soups crooked. So that's kind of nice. I had a, oh, a friend of mine was telling me about a friend of theirs. I know, a convoluted story already, uh, who she always had back problems and she always kind of stood a little bit weird. And she finally went in and got it looked at. She didn't have health insurance. Um, but I think once her family got health insurance, she was able to look at it. And her back was crazy messed up. I was like, I don't want that to happen to me. I'm like, I'm like scared about it now. I'm like, can this get worse? Like, <laughs> do I need to see a chiropractor tomorrow? <laughs> like how, how quickly will this worsen? Um, but he, he seemed to, to think that it, wasn't a big deal. It's fairly common. It's just something that you want to make sure that you fix because it, you know, messes up the rest of your body. It was so interesting because this side of my body, easy peasy. Um, I mean, on my entire back, I could tell was tense, had a lot going on in there, but this side of my body was way better than this side of my body. This side was messed up. I was like, Oh, uh, uh, ah, <laughs> so that was my life, man. Oh, it was great, though. It was super great. Yeah. And I can't
came home to this on my bed. <laughs> so I've been trying to, like, get Sherlock to play with it. But I keep doing because he loves, like, hands or feet under things. He likes attacking those. So I keep, like, doing this. This sort of nonsense. And he's like, <gasps> he gets, like, super excited. But he doesn't like that it's so crackly. It, like, makes a lot of noise. So he hasn't been, like, really into it. But I'm going to leave it out. We'll see if it's something that he winds up enjoying. I don't know. It'd be interesting. But overall, I'm sad that I didn't get to see Jeannie. And I'm sad that I didn't get to see Trasha. But I am excited that I got a massage. And that I found out that my back is all messed up. Because that's kind of nice to know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That was my day. I hope you guys had a good day. And I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Mwah!